You know, a few weeks ago, a group of local FFA students lost several of their rabbits. Many of them were livestock show ready with competition season just around the corner. It is so sad, but it's some good news here. Katie Case, Avery Kanowski spoke to Alto ISD about the loss and what comes next. In early January, a stray dog killed 17 of the Alto agriculture students' rabbits. I put a lot of work into one of them that died, and so she's my favorite, and I cried. Students like Junior Brooke Lowe spend hours each week preparing their show animals. Some of the rabbits were just weeks old when the dog broke into their kennel. And then the babies, I had just um, grown them, and I was selling, I had just sold one the day before. They also sadly lost some that were previously named grand champions. Also kind of um, stressful and almost sad because it's like we had good ones and we don't know what we're going into with it this year. So she says stock shows usually require entry deadlines. So when this happened so close to show season, she panicked, but the community showed support. Luckily, we've had a lot of people reach out in the community offering to donate or here's my best rabbit, take it, go show here's for your kids. These rabbits behind me are some that will be participating in the upcoming Fort Worth show. Um, a small cash prize and then some like Houston even give away big like thousands of dollars in scholarship. Alto students are looking forward to the upcoming shows and caring for their new rabbits. They can't go without water or food so you have to constantly feed them water and make sure that everything's filled. You always have to keep it clean or it smells or they can get dirty or diseases or infection. Hoping to win big prizes. Avery Klanowski, KETK News.